Hey what's up guys, I'm Kempo Neno and welcome back to my channel. Today we're back with more Red Dead Redemption 2. So if I remember correctly, we have quite a few missions available, but right now we are waiting for a camp mission with Micah to become available. And hopefully once we actually boot up the game, it will be available to us. Depending on the time of day, of course. But yeah, if you guys are ready, I think we should just get started. Uh, I, I would not do that. I would not dare. There's gators here. Oh, we have mail. I think I hear them, actually. Wait. It is here. Micah and Bill plan to ambush a banking coach riding through the swamps and invite Arthur to join them. It's locked, Bill. So. Um, oh wait, we actually only have the one with Dutch available. Oh yeah, and the gunslinger. Oh, and one here. Eagle, oh yeah. Okay, it's coming back to me now. <laughs> it's usually like with, since I'm only playing one game right now, I tend to mix up the video, like what happened in, in the previous videos. We should also go hunting soon. Yeah, we okay. I think we're recording. So why is it locked? What is the time? Maybe it's around one. Didn't we figure that out the last video? It's like after one p.m. or one o'clock. Did someone just? Are there? Hello. You play a good guard. Oh, yeah, now it's available. And you make a pretty good oil man. Yeah. <laughs> Trelawney and Jose have Come here, Arthur. Well. Swanson. You okay? You want to sit, Mr. Morgan? Um, yeah, I'd rather do that than talking to Micah, so why not? Okay there, Arthur? <laughs> I think so. Think so. You really need to start helping out around here. I know, I know. You're lucky Dutch has a soft spot for you. Arthur? I love how off um, Javier is playing the guitar. Your thing. So nice. Gentlemen. Hello. Hello. Not bad. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. Our thanks. Excellent. All right. I guess we should. I thought you'd run off to join the circus. Huh? Circus? No. You worried your mother half to death. I was fine. Really, I was. I ate spaghetti. Shh. What? Spaghetti. Oh, it's a Italian food. It's. Can I talk to you a second? Sure. Nice. I'm just so worried about Karen, Arthur. And the people? Why? You know why. She's gonna kill herself when she hits the liquor. Oh. Sure, but. Like a cage. But I guess that's her choice. I'll try speaking with her. Thanks, Arthur. Our little prince. I'll try to. Well, little prince. Tomorrow. No, it won't work. <laughs> see, sometimes it's difficult because I want to talk to Tilly, but I really wanted to see the interaction between between Hosea and and Jack. So yeah, that was a bit unfortunate. But do we know where Karen is? Yes. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Karen. But I also don't want to miss the window to start the mission with Mike and Bill. How bro? Oh, there she is. How you been getting on? Stole a necklace last week from a lady's house in the mansion district. I don't like San Denis. It scares me. It's like a city built on built on I don't know what. Built on memories. This whole place is all about memory. Memory. 
built on lies and mud hey, all right and all there. things bad since this country was discovered. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> Very romantic. I knew you'd say that. Well, it is. <clears throat> Tired mansions gently sinking. Ghosts everywhere. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> You're mad. No, she's hopeful. There's a difference. Always good to see you. Smile, Arthur. How's it all going? I am fantastic. She drunk right now? Okay, then. Karen. Karen. Uh, Karen! What the hell? It's a nice place you brought us to, my brother. Yes. Lovely, isn't it? Uh, makes me miss freezing to death in the mountains. <laughs> yeah, that was good times. Yeah. <laughs> Fortnite! Let's go. It's ready. Alright then. Howdy, hello! Hey, Uncle. There he is. Alright, let's do this. What do you want? Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old Misery Guts Morgan. What do you want, Micah? Hmm. Well, I... I want a friend, Arthur. Good luck with that. I want hope. I want tomorrow to mean more than today. I want this whole damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. <laughs> but I ain't holding my breath. Yeah, I wouldn't. So, instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? Redistribute? Yep. From the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. And you'll fight this time? I always fight! No, you always talk. But with coaches, guns are more significant than words. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> you think we need an extra gun? Bill. Probably a good idea. Here I do. Bill, come on. What are we doing? <laughs> Coach, stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. Micah and Bill. This is a death sentence. <laughs> That's what There's I thought. There's a good spot where we can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamps north of here. You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite, I got two pistols, I got you and Bill. That count as a plan? Not really. Half a plan. Well, let's go. <laughs> so, I'm joking. Who told you about this? Please tell me it wasn't an O'Driscoll this time. Nope, a man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I go right to the source. I thought he was about Why to say a man on the internet. <laughs> Charville. <laughs> Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Very true. You're proof of that. Amusing. Charm. And a little money. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like leaving trails, unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? He killed him. We keep leading trouble right to us. We're carrying too much dead weight. We need to be leaner so we can move faster. Quiet. Oh, is he part of the plan? Jesus Christ. Just five or six strong gunmen. Well, nobody's stopping you. There's a whole world out there. Go find the strong men you want and leave. Hey, I like you boys. And with the price on our heads. We are wedded in this chaos. I hide it out like us. This point. It would be a coward's move to bail on Dutch now. Not like John did. Heard about him disappearing on you fellers. For a year, wasn't it? Something like that. I don't trust him. I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned. Challenging every move Dutch makes. I know you have your doubts about him too, Morgan. No, I got no doubts about John. I've known him 15 years. Well, if we really are gonna escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, let's cut across here. It'll be quicker. We're gonna need to cut some loose. 
From what Dutch says, the coffers are looking pretty good again. We could almost leave now if we chopped half the dead wood. We ain't doing that. I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? I'm sure you've tried. Is it too much to ask, considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in? Everyone does their share. I don't see you lifting a finger around camp. This uh, man. Swanson does his share. Molly, come on. No, uh, that's different. See, uh, uh, this is what I mean. I've always liked Abigail, though. That's my kind of girl. Sully, but strong. Well, I don't get the sense the feeling is mutual. Nope. You just don't understand women, Morgan. Okay, here we are. I'm sure Micah does. I'll he get the explosive planet. Like a Coach great should be coming guy. through any minute now. them in the road over here so he can blow it as it comes over the bridge got some good cover over here you hide behind this tree to my left morgan will you get it you take the other side get this one try to stay out of sight we don't want to spook him way ahead of you morgan not morgan micah I'm so sorry, that was such an insult. Arthur. Sorry. Here they come. You gonna shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something. The charges? Shoot the dynamite? Oh. Let's go! Suppose was okay. More coming. Uh -oh. No, the horses. Right in the eyeball. I'm so sorry, horses. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Why me? Oh my god, I blew the leg off. Oh no. I'm joking, Bill. Oh no. How much we get, cowpoke? Enough. Here. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Maybe I had you wrong, Arthur. <sighs> maybe you can win as well as fight. Or maybe you was lucky. Well, we'll see, I guess, how lucky any of us is. Exactly. Alright. Better get out of oh here. God. Split up, I reckon. I blew the legs off. I feel awful. Stick. Oh. Okay, girl. Is there a horse over there? Why? Um, there you go. Huh? What's that doing? There's another one. Okay. 
hold on. Is this the one we, like we had? Is it? Oh, there's a berry. <laughs> I think it is. Evergreen is a health herb. It can be eaten to refill your health core. Don't kick me. Brother. Big yikes. Big yikes. No, no. We're taking her. <laughs> this is mine now. Um. Hmm. I mean, we do have a stable over here we could go to. And then we could go for the gym boy. Uh, you've dealt with all the gunslingers. Go to Callaway, Callaway, and living with the findings. We could go and do that, and then we can go and do the Eagle Flies mission. Since I don't reckon that this one will take that long, maybe, maybe we do that. Maybe we can go to the post office here then. As well, and then we do have the the drag drago mission up here. We'll see how long everything takes. Then we could go and do that since that is a side mission as well, and it becomes available at night time. Hopefully, we can fit everything in, and then we have the mission with Dutch too. So. <laughs> There we go. Hold on a minute. Yep. Sorry, the light was a bit bright. Uh, let's just get some biscuits. And yeah, maybe we can fit in some. Oh, the horse is not doing well either. That's it. I, was was the horses from the mission? We don't even have anything. We, we can buy that at the stable. Stuck up on the snacks. It's just for the meat. I know, girl. Just give me a second. Could sell it. We'll see if we still have it once we get to camp, but I 
Yep. Could doubt it. Yeah. Didn't have to skin it, probably. I don't know. <sighs> what can we sell? Okay. See, I'd like to keep it. Just because it, we we lost it, <laughs> we we lost one similar. So we need provision. Full on everything else. There we go. You all right, girl? There we go. Okay. Post office, and then gym boy, and then eagle flies. Yep. More adventures. I know I'm not supposed okay, to use this then. weapon, I'm supposed to use a rifle, but... <gasps> Look at the background. I love this area. I really do. Good go. Okay mm. then, girl. Okay. Should probably because yeah. I think that book was three stars. So <laughs> should probably try and get the pelts in as good quality as possible. Mainly so we can get some food for it. Because we got yeah. nothing. And we could also go and uh, to the store and get some supplies. Some canned goods. Although it probably won't do much, but it's nice to have something to. To eat if we if we run out of meat because we can't carry that much meat anyway so it's like we're gonna run low pretty fast. You done good, girl. You done good, girl. Met him before. Help Hello, good sir. Man. Okay, here you are. I sense great confusion in you, sir. Great confusion. Not because you do not know. But because you are afraid of what you know. All right, friend. Interesting. Kind of feel like he's. Don't waste any more time with an old blind man. Go out there and become who you are. Become who you are. My goodness. 
Yeah, I sense like he's kind of giving a little bit of, I don't know, not foreshadowing, but insight to, to Arthur and like the story. Yeah, how he's, he's feeling. I don't think he's completely wrong. Just from some of the conversations we've had with the, the ladies at the camp. Yeah. And we can, like, once we sit on the barrels and such, talking to them, and he's like, I don't know what's going on with me lately. Saying he's killed innocent people, although I don't agree with that necessarily. Not killed that many, at least, on purpose. Hey Duke. Hey Duke. Up and over. Damn. Damn is right. Hello. Welcome. How do you do? How do you do? Letter from Charles Chardonnay. <gasps> Invitation from Mayor Limix. Limix? I don't know. Okay, this is the invitation. May 1899. Monsieur Kilgore? Monsieur? I don't know. <laughs> it was lovely to make your acquaintance at the residence the other night. You meet so many people at these kinds of functions, it is hard to keep track. I did notice, however, that you were near my study when poor Pierre had an accident and some sim and some documents simply disappeared. It'd be nice to see some new faces through here. Now I have spent far too long in politics to make accusations wildly, but just long enough to know when I am owed a small favor. Perhaps your gung ho frontier spirit and my oh, cold old world cynicism cynicism could work quite well together. Indulge me in a meeting. At least come to the back of the ma mayoral I try to help residence folks, but any night you wish. Knock on the, the door, way. and my Fella assistant, here and well, Sean Mark, left with will everything let you I in. got. Hope to see you soon. On some people. Your newest friend, Henry. Oh. Okay, we're going to do that. Um. Then we got a tasks in Asia. Got a letter from Charles. Oh my god, did he make it? Mon cher ami. I'm here <laughs> if you need a bit of help. I made it. I have the sun on my face, sand between my toes, and a beautiful vahine in my bed. The islands are everything I thought they would be, and more. You would not believe the light and the colors and the people here. So much brighter and more alive than anything or anyone in Saint Denis. It feels like a world away, which of course it is. Well, you may be surprised, you but you are my only true friend from those dark, dreary you know? days. You did not ask for anything, you only gave. How perfect, how perfect, how rare. I detest selfish access more than civilization itself. But what is civilization really but organized selfishness? I must constrain my most primal and vital desires so you may be comfortable. Bah! Some no, Missy. Are nice, and some are real sleazy. Just this island paradise questions. is what the Especially civilized world would call primitive, bounty. but the people here are the most generous in ways I may not put into words, I have meant. Why is this? Because they're free. I never painted like I paint now. It is work the likes of which has never been seen. Before I sent this, I shipped some 
canvases to New York to be sold. Perhaps if you own that little scribble, it may be worth something now. Either that or laugh at my inept ineptitude. Always yours, CC. Oh, the little drawing he gave us. Good day to you. Can we sell it? I don't know. We'll see. Girl. Girl. Yeah, all right. Gym boy. Here we come. That has been a mission long on the way, because it's been a while since we. Hello? Yeah. I can use a fella like you. You wanna make some easy money? Come with me. I can't talk here. I'm staying on my horse. Go get my bastard of a friend double crossed me again, and I ain't gonna stand for it this time. So listen, he's staying at the nearby hotel. You rob him, we split the money. What do you say? Sure, why the hell not? Okay, he's at the saloon tying one on, so go ahead to 1B in the hotel and look for us easy money. Oh, is this one of the situations where he's gonna... Oh no. Oh no. Oh well, it's an adventure. It is an adventure. Let's do it. Okay, okay that's a window. I thought it was a door. The window was ahead of its time. You don't... Okay, never mind. I was like, you don't see many floor to ceilings window, do you? But yes, you do. Oh, you're back. You're new. No need to fret, ma'am. I'm just looking for a friend. Room one B. End of the hall. I hear any trouble? Well, I better not. I have a bad feeling. I have a bad feeling. I'm gonna get shot in the face, aren't I? Ugh, I'm scared. Okay, I'm gonna have the gun ready. No, I'm gonna have the rope ready, maybe. No, I'm gonna. Oh, I don't know. No, gun is safer. 1B. Is this. No. Wait. Store. 2A 2C Huh <gasps> Wait I'm sorry, I have the stupid <gasps> Upstairs this this here Is there another f no? End up the oh, wait downstairs. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm I'm just a uh, uh, confused. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, see, I don't like that. Oh, we 
think you can rob me, do you? I ah. split your spook. Okay. Be a corpse now. Okay. You're weak. I know. I knew it. Oh, I got him. Loot. <gasps> Who's the law? Oh, God. If you come back here causing more problems like this, I'll get the sheriff. You hear me? I did nothing. I did nothing. I did nothing. I didn't do it. it. Wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I swear. I swear. No witnesses. They can't see through walls. Okay, there we go. I didn't even see how many m money we got. How much money we got? How many money? Was it just 50? No, oh, that's good too. I'm an honest man. Out of my word. Yeah, served him right. That money should have been mine anyway, rat bastard. You're right. Easy money. Okay, thank God. Last time I was told to make easy money, I got robbed, so. Uh. Taking it one. Get my hat back, please. Too cool. I need my hat. I don't know why I didn't take the horse. Oh well. We'll get good exercise. Alright. Jim Boy! Hey. I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin? Drunk Boar Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in Saint Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. Saint Denis? On a riverboat? Oh, okay then. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't drink here though. Get on to Saint Denis and have you some Sazerac. There's anything Zazerac. else? Uh huh. Ooh, stranger mission. I have to go and check. Oh my god. I, I can hate do. You let me know. I hate that. Dang, you've been gone a while. I hate that. Fine hall there. Um, not the biggest fan of that, having us Let's go, go to. I, I know it, that's kind of how it, it worked, you know, back in the day. My friend, you there? Hello. What you guys on about? Why are you dressed so fancy? Are you bothering the lady? Yeah. What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do because I look like that milksop there. But tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. <laughs> What? See, even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy? Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. <laughs> uh, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, oh, the... I'm a good shot, okay. but I won't even flinch. I think they're trying to impress I her. Hurt you boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, that's okay, totally then. what's going on. <sighs> Listen, 
Dick Just Measurement sure Behavior. Everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. They are. <sighs> okay. Now is as good a time as. Good job, sir. I didn't batten. I got it. <laughs> 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 that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, oh, sir. Please. Uh, what? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. <laughs> as long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Oh, Lord. Don't think too much about it. Just shoot. Now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir. And this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen. Silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. Already. Oh my God. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle and his brains, if you please. Oh my At God. Least I have brains. <laughs> I, I must be. Ooh, I'm scared during this. Now do one while I hop. Do no. one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering oh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boy, you are too much. I could imagine actually shooting them. It could have been fun, but I wanted to see how ridiculous it could get. And um, shooting them while they were standing on one leg and moving was not easy. Or I should rather say trying to avoid shooting them, but yeah, that was fun. All right, eagle flies time. And then we have the mission up here. And then the gym boy mission. Maybe we'll do Dutch's mission first. I'm not sure. What are we even doing with Dutch? Dutch has been investigating the trolley station tip from Bronte. Okay. Um. We'll see where the Eagle Flies mission uh, takes us. I highly doubt we will make it back to camp before the, the corpse of uh, the deer starts to go back. Easy, easy. To brush your voice. Oh, okay, should we? Hmm. Okay, hold on. I might set up camp and cook before we go to the mission. Hold up. Okay. There we go. We got some meat. Yeah. 
Uh, you good, girl? Here we go. It is mission time. Oh, they're right here. Let's see. <gasps> Wait, can I study the horse first? No, nope. it's pretty. Beautiful. Hello? Sir? You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will uh -oh. the files say? There'll be no. a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a the wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guards. Like, uh, there, there's nothing for us to hide under? Oh, I don't want to. Or do I? Because I can't really see what's going on. I did not think this through. I don't really have a plan after we get into the place. <laughs> I like the music. Train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. I thought he was going to check. Upstairs. I don't know where I'm going. This is going way better than expected. Uh, 
You must be Danbury. Who? Uh-oh. <laughs> Quieten yourself, friend. This won't take long. Oh god, I feel bad for him. <laughs> Danbury. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Ooh. Damn, Barry. Think, man. The mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially <laughs> over such a nice <laughs> floor as this. <laughs> Come on. Oh, my God. Ouchie. It's here. It's here. Get out of the way, bucket. Thanks a lot. Done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just. I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Escape the office through the window. Through the window! Hey, 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 hey! Hold it right there! Weapons on the ground and hands in the air! Easy now, fellas. Now! We won't tell you again! Oh my god! What Take in the... This. What in the... Ooh. Excuse me? Oh, shit balls. Wait, who's here? Who is here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There is a lot of people here. Oh god, I shot his head off. I shot his head off. Oh god. This is gonna suck. I'm using the- oh god. Oh god, this sucks! Where the hell is he? Over where? Oh, I do have my handguns, that's probably better to use. Oh, there he is. I thought I had my repeater! Oh, the horse! Did you do that? Bro, not cool. Oh god. They're coming after us. I see. Oh! Oh god. Oh god. I don't see any more of them. That's good. We're almost clear. I stopped the plan the whole time. Whoa. Just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? I sure did. Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. I did. You saved my life. <laughs> Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Boom boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> All right, I am quite proud of myself 
for doing that first try. <laughs> Although I don't think it's as complicated as it like sounds to do. Can we make it up there by night time? I don't think so. Okay. Back to camp. Give them the deer. Then we're gonna go to Saint Denis just because it's it's just so far away. And we do have like two side missions in Saint Denis, so. Yep. Yeah. I will most likely see you guys once we're back at camp. Just to um, save some time and make room for some other a bit more interesting content since we've seen we ride these roads a million times. So, I'll be right back. All right, home stretch. Let's go. <laughs> we made it. Literally nothing interested happened. Who goes in there? Interesting happened. I'm coming in. I guess we should say for once, no crashes. Slow it up. No robberies, no nothing, so. That was fun to try for once. I would obviously show you guys if something, if we had gotten into an encounter or something like that, so. Nope, not today. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. All right, Pierce. Okay. All right, let me see. Okay, all we have right now is for funds. So I'm gonna keep some of these because we do have Many a fence. Thanks, and I don't know if he can make something for us. Uh, we could also go to the ledger and just buy. Supplies for the camp, so they are good to go. How are things with you? Pretty good. Could also contribu oh. contribute a little bit. Some of the items we found. For I like to just donate items because if it gives the money camp anyway, I, I usually forget to sell it. Um, so, <laughs> might as well give them that since it just gives to the money pile anyway, so. Okay, we do have enough medicine. There we go. Ammunition. And there we go. Okay, so from what I heard from you guys, the camp boat is literally a waste of money. So I don't think we're going to get that since it's also like a $450. So yeah, I don't think we're going to use it for anything. Since I think it's somewhat simple enough to find a boat just out and about, so... Oh, look at them! We got three... S okay. Three... somewhat three smokers. Uh, Good morning, Arthur. Hello. Hello! Never mind, they're not smoking, they're drinking coffee. <laughs> you got this place whipped into shape, alright? I'm trying. So... What now? 
We need to start learning from our mistakes. I oh, know. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, I'll catch you later Thanks. then. <laughs> Mr. Strauss? Back at them, Mr. Morgan. Good to see. Yeah, I'll live. Can we get some stew? No. Okay. Are people still sleeping? <gasps> Hello, Tilly. Good morning, Arthur. Tilly! Hello? I heard screaming. Delk? Sadie is keeping watch? Who's yelling? I'm so confused. Good morning. Good morning, Arthur. Everything good? I guess. I hope so. Okay then. <laughs> I love the conversation. I hope so. Okay then. Hey, Sadie. God help anyone who tries to get past you. Morning. You managing not to kill Pearson? Only just. Ah, uh, he ain't that bad. Sure. Whatever you say, honey boo. I'm sorry. <laughs> it sounds like it's John. But I, I, I can't hear... Hello? Oh. <laughs> With a bottle in his hand. Get up, now! <laughs> what? Get up! Quit with the ruckus! I'm tired. Tired. <laughs> hey, uncle. <laughs> you sleeping? Uncle, <laughs> are you sleeping? <laughs> are you awake? Are you tired? Hello? Uncle? Uncle? <laughs> My god. Alright. Well. This ain't a knee! Morning, Charles? Hey. Run into a couple of Indians in San Denis. A chief called Rainsfall and his son. Yeah, I know the name. You're in real need of help right now. All right, well, I should be getting on. Bye, Arthur. Goodbye now. You guys heard that, right? Someone's yelling. Yep. All right. Oh, maybe we should set a shut out waypoint. Um. Actually, maybe since you guys said that if I stand up on the bridge. Near the drawing, you could catch the fish. So we might try that. Since we are going over there. Yep. Go, go. <laughs> go, go. I also need to buy more ammo for my rifle, I think. We're running a bit low. Can I? Ah, ah. 
Okay. Um. Oh, okay. good. Good lord. That is. That is scary. I'm sorry. I forgot what we were for a second. Okay. Um. Can I? Can we? Okay. Um, um, if I... It's okay. Okay, I trust that we will not get run over by the train. There's a gentleman fishing right there. We 100% will get run over. Okay, right about here. Then we... It is a river. Special river alert. Okay. If this works first try, I will be so mad. No, oh, now I'm fishing. Got some. Can I... Uh... Don't fight too much. Okay. That is much better. Because, like, doing the motion with trying to doing that while spinning the other hand, I, I, I can't do that multitasking. Oh, come here. Is that it? Look at you! Yes! <laughs> Whoa, what are you? A sturgeon, perhaps? Yes. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh.
can't believe. First try even? Like, what the hell? That's insane. Well. Let's go and mail that bastard. Do the gym boy, then this, and the... by nighttime, we should have that available. Whew. Sorry. Also, I really want to apologize for being a bit absent again. I I feel like there's always something and I I don't know what is going on, but I've been feeling absolutely drained and exhausted. Not necessarily from making videos, like I I don't feel I don't know if it's like feeling burnt out or something but I, it's not like I don't want to make videos but when I get home from work I'm just so freaking exhausted that once I've had Holly out gone for a small walk with her we come back I make the mistake of wanting to sit down on the couch and watch uh, one of my shows which is usually like Modern Family or Friends or something. And then I just, I fall asleep every time. And that is at around five or six. Then I have an alarm at 10 that wakes me up. And then I take Holly out and then I just go to bed. That has been my day for, uh, I don't know how long. Welcome back. Well, Good to for see like you a week again. and a half. And I'm just, I'm just tired all the time. It doesn't matter how much I sleep. What do you got for me today? Thoughts in that. There you go. Farewell. And some people might say, well, uh, maybe just don't go and lay on the couch when you get home. I'm like, I want to relax as well. And yeah. Can I please? Where's the... Over here. So yeah, I'm just trying to um, feel better, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Not be um, as tired because I, again, if I'm tired, wrong with you? Got some issue? it's just a horse. Come down. Like if I'm feeling tired, I don't really have the energy to go and you know record a video and all that. So I won't be worth much if I actually Bring decide to sit down and record it. If you get, you you get me. This is the famous Grand Corrigan. Hey, I'm looking for Boy Calloway and a man writing a book about him. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Around this time, Mr. Calloway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You can follow me. If you're Ooh. quick, you might catch him sober. Oh. Really now? Oh! My friend with no name! You found us! Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Well, uh, to be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh... <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. <laughs> I mean... Do you think anyone would mind if I, if we, said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as... I... Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. Why would you say it was him? That's a goddamn skin? fest! What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass name? Uh, you know, I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. Well, I'm somebody! <laughs> and I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn... Get, I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me! By the way, what works? Uh, damn you, Theodore Levin! You're a snake! Damn you! Hey, damn you, nobody! Hey, I'm already damned! Oh, uh, but I can't take credit for that, which I... Damn says I didn't, I... I'm an old man. Just never happened to Achilles, the Gawain, the Caesar. You can't happen to me. 
I'm gonna kill them both here. Yeah, calm down. I'm a legend! Yes, you are. <sighs> all right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't, but maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. <sighs> Maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here! Nah, 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 <laughs> let, let's not. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, now, you're drunk and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. <laughs> We're great, aren't we? Locate and capture Slim Grant in Ansburg. Good morning. Oh, that is up here. Whoa, 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 why? Up here. Interesting. Callaway has requested that you find Slim Grant and bring him to Brandywine, Brandywine Drop. Well then. Okay. Let's do the Dutch mission, I guess, and then we'll see if it becomes nighttime, and then we can do the Maya one, and if that happens, we can start to move up uh, to these towns, where I was a bit unsure if we should go and explore. And there was like a lake house, is it maybe this one? The Van Horn Mansion, where you guys were like, you should go in and, and check it out. Just, just do it. And I was like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Seems a bit suspicious. But we can do that. I think we should have typed. If not now, then definitely in the next video, which is out tomorrow, probably. Watch yourself now. What you say if I'm trying? Out of the damn way! Oh, I'm sorry. <gasps> oh. oh, sorry. She was so nice about it, so polite. Of all the Oh, should we... I'm scared to call the horse since the train is here. Don't get run over. Don't get run over. Don't get run over! The trolley is coming too. Be careful. Are you in the moat? What are you doing? You crazy. Crazy girl. Oh my god. <laughs> Can we go through here? There we go. <gasps> oh, he's right there. Lenny! Lenny, my boy! My man! There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. <laughs> Couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. I think we made a bit of money on that, that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. 
Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then, well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, what is the this plan? is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. M, leave these fine folks of their now, valuables. I'm going to need Ash, everything you got there. on you. I got Mr. this Jay. one. Dying. Else. That's your choice, not mine. Kindly open that gate. Let my acquaintance inside. Give me your money. It ain't worth dying. I said, All right, open the gate okay? and let my acquaintance in. Yes, of course. I hate that I just honor for this. Don't move a goddamn muscle. You need to give me all your money now. Okay. Fine, it's yours. Thank you. <laughs> There's nothing much here. What? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you, behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. So you're this saying we were set up? Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. No, I don't Open think so it. either. But you got $20? There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now. We got you surrounded. That's Say, greasy son of a bitch. He set us up. You think? You seem to think? Of sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. The trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. That's what you get for the trusting. Is this trying to go to Tahiti? I hope so. Ah. All right, shoot us some space, boys. We got more oh, on the right. Stop. That's Hello. We got some in those alleyways, aren't we? Oh, boy. Hand up on that balcony. Bronte is going to pay for this. Somebody kill that bastard. We've got some riders on the left. Um, swap. Sorry. Let's get him. Look out! Right, coming out of the back. That bastard must have called in every cop in the city. I'm not surprised, Dutch. Outside the saloon. Oh damn, we are really moving here. So we're gonna discuss that this trolley just goes around the city. Slow this thing down. Uh oh. We got a crash and burn, ladies and gentlemen. Oh god. Is everyone alive? Oh thank the Lord. Oh no. There's cover. There's cover. You okay, well, guess we should have done the mayor mi- How is that not- oh, there we go. Oh, off goes his hat. He's just chilling over there. Oh. He was so peaceful. Damn. 
Gotta go. Trying. because I don't have Ugh. any of my good guns. <gasps> Badass. Got him. Come on. Come on. Got him. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, can he not get shut through that? Oh, <laughs> never mind. Let's go. So many people. Sixty-five dollars. Yeah. Sheesh. Oh well. <laughs> I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, 
That's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got... Fifteen dollars. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. No, oh, you're freaking naive. Like a yokel. Put the law on us. What do we do to him? What did I do to him? Don't have Guess to do anything. Yes, he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. Nope. So. What are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. He wants one more decent revenge. take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that, especially after that. I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. Jesus Christ. Oh, he's already ready for a new mission. Is that worth you? Okay, what does that say though? Dutch. Ooh, there's a gator in that picture. Country pursuits. Dutch needs to speak to you. Hmm. We only. Uh, we could go up to like Van Horn and Ansberg. For a little break, do some hunting. Um, hopefully, there's like an ammunition store or something up there, so we can potentially buy some more ammo. Yeah, you good, girl? <laughs> Since we are a little bit low. Although I'm very happy that we uh, managed to get a legendary fish. That's good. Should we have the rifle ready? Oh, those are like the snap, the snap turtles. Is that what they're called? They're a bit feisty. Let's see if we come across uh, the house. I think because we're gonna go right by it. So, I'm gonna try and enter it this time, although I do feel bad doing so a little bit just because um, people tend to get mad in the game when we do stuff like that, trespassing for some reason. <laughs> Be 
Easy, easy. Also, with the note, should we check our journal? That's the guy, Charles. All right. There you go. Kieran, the poor kid we spared from O'Driscoll's gang up in the mountains is dead, killed by the bastards. He saved my life and I could not save his. They chopped his head off and tried to kill the lot of us. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She's driven by powerful forces. I. Scar sca scarcely scale sc scarce understand that's what love has done to her i guess i feel like an animal living out in the mud here whole place gives me the creeps rest in peace Kieran. found charles the artist dressed as a street walker trying to flee from assorted men he'd off offended fleeing to the south seas Wonder if we'll see him there. And he made it. Took McDaniels in and watched him fry. Weren't very nice, weren't very humane. The professor professor got upset and got involved before possibly killing himself with electricity. And I never got paid money. If they catch me, I pray they hang me. That chair is the work of the devil. Met this fellow, Algernon Wasp. Not sure how to describe him, but I won't forget him anyway. I could not do him justice, different kind of fellow. But he says he'll pay good money for assorted feathers and eggs and whatnot. For ah! Asshole, you could've... Okay then, girl. You could've gone around, Easy. asshole. Whoa. Oh, not chapter. There we go. Says he'll pay good money for feathers and eggs and whatnot for his creations for various rich women. Gave me a list of things he wants. That was the thing I was just talking about. Met that writer Evelyn Miller in the street. He remembered me from the party. Apparently, my petty crime did not go entirely unnoticed. Better keep my head down a little bit better. He introduced me to a couple of Indians, father and son. Son angry, father with uh, an air of what exactly? Of something both impressive and frightening and kind about him. A great man defeated by powerful and awful forces. I do not know, but his eyes, his very manner spoke to me. Somehow I've agreed to help them. Seems they, like us, have problems with that gilded ape Leviticus Cornwall and his foul empire. We shall see how this pans out. Not very well, I would imagine. Okay, that is all for now. Yeah. Oh yeah, but we did get the note thingy matchingy. Okay, I think they're in order. Recipes. Letters. Sacred cards, business cards. Books.
I uh, can't find him right now. But to me, it seemed a bit excessive because it was a lot of things that he wanted. But apparently, he will pay very handsomely. So maybe we'll do it, possibly in one of the streams <laughs> I've talked about doing. We'll see. Oh, that's the house. The infamous yeah. house. seem violent. I don't like the music. Oh, from the cigarettes. Um. Marvels of Travel. So is he. Oh shit. Is this some sort of trap? gonna save what the hell I knew it I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Probably wasn't the best idea, but... Breaking and entering. Recover the stash from four homesteads. The rum.
Yeah, I don't know if I should have shot him. Because technically he did not really fire at me after I'd killed the other guy, so... Oh well. We did, did it now, so... I don't know if I feel good about it, but... What's done is done. Okay, so... Easy now. We've not been to these towns before. So I'm a little bit excited. It's a lighthouse. Van Horn. Oh. What a shitty little place. I was <laughs> It's cute. But very run down, actually. Like the docks are all kinds of messed up. Which one is in north? Evening. Hey, lady. Hey. I need some help. Hello. I don't know this place well. A sense of direction. It ain't good. Hey, where's the train station? Going around in circles here. Head on that help way. Him. You'll find it. You are a gentleman. Sir. I like how we can help him, and this is the first time we're here. <laughs> Sheriff's office is burnt to the ground. Sheesh. That place is toast. Rooms by the Nate. Okay, we got a stranger mission here. Is that the guy? Or is in the saloon? <laughs> It is in here. No. Bertram say no. Oh, Bertram. Nice. That's very nice. Friends for life, we said. And now the two of you have betrayed me at once. Do you know what betrayal means, Bertram? No. It means hurting Miss Marjorie. Well, I thought you liked me. I've clothed you. I fed you. Bertram does like Miss Marjorie. Yes, and Miss Marjorie likes Bertram. So why don't you go and tell me where that nasty little Magnifico has run off to so I can get on with whipping that snot nose right into shape? He owes me. He owes us. Big time. Bertram and Marjorie. Have we seen what? him before? Bertram like a sherry. Bertram like sherry. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> Barkeep sherry. Make it the cheapest one you have. Rat piss will do. His pretty dance. That's not nice. Everything okay? Imagine saving people, Girl. taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars. 
dreamers, dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. Oh, fuck it, he... No, Bertram, Bertram, Bertram! Woof, woof, Bertram, put the nice man down. Do something, you only eat him. Um, eat him? Uh, it, 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 easy there. Uh... Easy there! Uh oh. Sorry! Oh. Easy, oh. big guy. Oh. 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 Nice! Stop! Oh, hey, 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 hey. He's so big! <laughs> You're weak! He's yeah, yeah, I know! Compared to you! Oh. You gonna behave? No! No fair! No fair, you say? I'm the small here. Think about me. Oh! Think about what you're doing here. Come here, Bertram. He got knocked the f out. Oh yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should oh, think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico. Hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's going to make it all better. But first, you got to tell me where that little worm ran off. To, hmm? Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram, like sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. That was weird as hell. But well, we got a beer. <laughs> Magnifico. I feel. Have we seen that guy before? MF. Magnifico. Oh. I feel like we've seen Bertram before, but that might just... I don't know. I might just be imagining things. Hello, good people. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Are you all just coming in now? 18. Give me another. Hard. What do you want? I'm staying. <coughs> Not much, I'm just looking. This is a cozy place. I don't need nothing else to drink. Watch Quite yourself. Low. I'm just trying to leave, sir. Whoop. Okay. We just keep finding stuff to do. <gasps> the, <gasps> the dog was a bling. Oh, look at him. Oh, I thought... What the... Oh. <sighs> I thought... Okay, I couldn't see because of the light. <laughs>
Oh, can we open mail? Do we have mail? Up and over. Oh, we can sleep here as well. Well, I could pay my bounty. Not a wee he. Alright. 